I was flexing in the mirror this morning while listening to a podcast when I heard this fascinating fact about migrating tree frogs. And, uh, wait, I'm sorry, I could be wrong here, but I think I smell some smoke, and that could only mean one thing. It's time for You Burnt! Welcome to the burn zone. We got a lot of topics to sizzle through and not a lot of time. Over here is the burner. Let's turn on the gas and load her up. Woo! Fingy says ouchie. <laughs> First up, SpaceX toilets. Recently, four astronauts returned home from the International Space Station in one of SpaceX's Dragon capsules and had to wear diapers on re-entry because the only toilet on the return capsule was broken. How does that happen? Did you forget to tip the super? How are we supposed to trust you to build a rocket when you can't even build a toilet? A broken toilet on Earth is bad enough, but it's gotta be a nightmare in zero gravity. Houston, we have a problem, <laughs> balls. Oh God, what's the problem? I told you, <laughs> balls. <laughs> SpaceX toilets must be re-entering the Earth's atmosphere because you burnt. People who say it gets good in season three, does it or do you have Stockholm Syndrome? Let me get this straight. You have 500 cable channels and 10 streaming services, and you turned on a show and went, this sucks. I'll give it 30 episodes. <laughs> I fly into a rage when a YouTube video has an ad in front of it. Do you really think I'm gonna sit through multiple years of garbage because the dialogue really starts to crackle in episode 29? <laughs> Let's get TV back to the way it's supposed to be. Good shows getting bad in season three, Sideburn Lost. Sideburn. Oh no, did the smoke monster not like that joke? Uh, people who say it gets good in season three, you must be talking about Chicago Fire, cause you burn. Spam calls, sorry, I'm way too busy to answer you. Nancy Pelosi just texted me and she really needs my help. Seriously, spam calls, are you my kid at soccer? Cause I am not picking you up. He's too busy rewatching Lost. Yeah, I did rewatch Lost. I'm not a monster. There's a lot of good stuff in there. It ticks back up in season four. Anyway, it's 2021. We all have caller ID on our phones. How is anyone falling for these scams? I don't pick up phone calls from people I actually like. We have texting now. At this point, a phone call feels like a home invasion. Also, what's your hit rate, spam calls? I know you got my mom, but who else? We're actually over 90% on hits. Huh. Also, enough with this making your number one digit away from Minecraft. 0468, but I'm 0467. It must be my best friend. <laughs> Never thought it would work, and I feel like I was right. <laughs> Spam calls, ring, ring, bitch, you burnt. <laughs> reusable tote bags, if you're so reusable, how come I own 900 of you? <laughs> the only use I've ever found for my tote bags is to carry all my other wadded up tote bags. And hey, people who carry reusable tote bags, you act like you're woke, but you're really appropriating disheveled teacher culture. <laughs> oh, you like the strand? Everybody's got the strand bag. You're not special. When I first moved to New York, I didn't even know the strand was a bookstore. I just assumed they sold tote bags. <laughs> but hey, nothing like buying some fresh, beautiful produce and tacos in it and the bottom of the bag still damp with last week's raw chicken juice. These Brussels sprouts are to die for. Reusable tote bags, it used to be a plastic bottle, but now you burn. Business cards, really? We're still doing this? I hope your business is waste management because this is going right in the garbage. <laughs> Giving someone a business card in 2021 is basically steampunk. Great, I'll give you a call when I need my cotton gin repaired. <laughs> Thanks for the business card. It's a great way to be sure I'll remember you in six months when I'm cleaning out my wallet. Dinner receipt, dinner receipt. All oh, right, this dickhead. Call me if you ever need data solutions. And what are those? You'll have to call me to find out. The only thing business cards are good for is to put in that fishbowl at the diner to see if you can win a free Reuben. Hey, business cards, get bent, you burnt. Social media outages. Recently, a massive outage took down Facebook and Instagram, leaving users without access to their services for almost six hours. Lord knows I didn't possess the willpower to restrain myself from endlessly scrolling through my feed, but for one beautiful day, I didn't have to. You did it for me. I ended up picking up a magazine for the first time in four years. I did a crossword puzzle. I read a funny little cartoon. It made me chuckle. <laughs> it was wonderful, and it made me remember what life was like in the before times, and that's why social media outages, you're this week's unburnable. Ascend to safety, and next time, take Twitter with you. Meta, that's right, Facebook changed its name to Meta, as in, I've never met a person with deader eyes than Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> Are you trying to win a staring contest with all of us? <laughs> You're just changing your name to get people to like you. You should have called the company Paddington. And by the way, if you haven't seen Paddington 2... Uh, no, we know how you feel about it. 
Okay. Also, Meta, your virtual meetings looks like a video game called This Could Have Been an Email. I barely like the regular verse, and now you want me to turn my whole life into the experience of texting a friend who responds to everything with a bitmoji? Sideburn Judy from accounting. Judy's just trying to connect. Hey, Metaverse, read of my avatar's lips, uh, you burnt. Hey, iPhone flashlight, you're like the worst guy in an improv group. You're always on. <laughs> there are only two ways to turn on an iPhone flashlight. Spend three minutes finding the app for it or touch any part of the phone once by accident. <laughs> and to turn it off, Tim Cook has to come to your house and punch in the secret code. The iPhone flashlight is a baffling mystery of physics. A light's so weak that it's no help at all when you're looking for your contact lens in the dark. Yet when you accidentally leave it on in your pocket, it shines through your pants with the blinding intensity of a thousand suns. <laughs> There's nothing like riding the subway and noticing everyone staring at your pants, and you just hope your dong isn't out until you realize your phone flashlight is on, and then you just wish your dong was out. <laughs> hey, iPhone flashlight, as soon as I find the app to burn you, you burn! Food recalls. Hey, thanks for the salmonella warning about the lettuce I bought and ate two weeks ago. At this point, you should just be notifying hospitals. I think we need a better system. Hey, sorry, we might have accidentally included something slightly deadly in our ground beef. And the only way you'll know is if you happen to catch that 30-second segment during Act 4 of the local news. Best of luck. And why, by the way, does this keep happening? Is it because you make 10,000 farm animals live in a one-square-foot toilet like they're musicians in Brooklyn? Also, Food recalls, I don't even know what the hell Listeria is, and unless it's a new album from Def Leppard, I don't care. Are not getting it? And you thought that was a reference people would understand? I think I forgot the audience was back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Food recalls, take yourself to the incinerator, you burnt up next service animals. Listen up, you highly trained freelo. Oh, that buzzer means we're out of time. This has been your burn. I'm Seth Myers. Check out my guns.